Congratulations on your purchase of a Gideon Optics Mediator. Mediator is our enclosed emitter optic on the Acro footprint. Get rid of the slide here for a second. When you get your Mediator out of the box, you're going to see it comes on this absolute co-witness riser mount. And we need to pull it off of that riser mount if we're going to put it on this Glock slide. So it has one screw here that is a cross clamping screw. Being an enclosed emitter, the screws can't come down from the top. So they come in, one screw comes in from the side. I'm turning it lefty-loosey. That would be counterclockwise until it pops off of that riser mount, kind of like a Lego. There's the acro footprint. It's got uh, one crossbar and sort of a shrunken down 1913 Picatinny type shape to it. All right, with this off, I'm gonna install the battery. Battery compartment is on the right side of it so this is the front this is the back and what I like to do is I used to scratch these up really bad and then I found this trick here's an ordinary quarter I'm gonna put it inside my cleaning cloth that came in the box and it's gonna fit in there really nicely press down and that's gonna get this started without actually scratching up that battery door we've got eight teeth in here we don't want to bend them right they're gonna tension and hold our CR2032 battery. This one's a Duracell. Energizer is fine too. I like to find a high quality battery. Press that in and it's going to be held in place by the teeth. See how it's held in place nicely. It's not going to come out. However, the optic is not waterproof this way. There is a waterproofing O-ring in the battery door and that's going to be important because that's going to help me know how much to tension this. Don't put a ton of torque on this battery door. See I'm just kind of closing it by hand. Then the same thing, there's my quarter in my cloth. And I'm just gonna turn this until I feel that O-ring sort of squish down. And, and I know that this is gonna be watertight. It's not gonna back off in many, many rounds. I'm gonna hit the brightness up button. There's the brightness up button there, brightness up, brightness down, plus and minus. I'm gonna hit this button once, click, click. Let's take a look through it. And I have a circle dot reticle in there. Here we have our circle dot reticle. I'm gonna take my brightness up button and I'm gonna hold it down for about three seconds. One, two, three, boom. And it's going to change to just a three MOA dot. If I hold down the brightness up button again, one, two, three, boom. It's gonna become just a ring with no dot in the middle. Those are the three reticles that Mediator offers. This one's actually really good for shotguns, by the way. I am going to stick with the circle dot. One, two, three, boom. And there's a circle dot. That's my favorite for now. And so I have checked that the unit is functioning and that all three reticles work. Let's install this bad boy. Okay, now that we know that we have a functional red dot with some fingerprints on the glass, we are going to put it on our pistol slide. This is a Patmos Arms Glock 34 slide. You can get them through JSD Supply. If you have a Glock and it does not have a footprint already cut for it, you can send it to a gunsmith and get it cut, or you can just buy one from a JSD, which is what I would recommend. And here is our RMR to Acro adapter, which you can get from GideonOptics.com. We're gonna drop that in place there get some blue thread locker and I'm going to put a line of blue thread locker on the threads of each of these screws. These slides are cut for 6-32 thread pitch which just happens to be my favorite screw thread pitch for this. It's a T10 Torx or star head just like what's actually on the optic so our tool from the Gideon's box will work just fine. We're going to turn righty-tighty until we put about 10 to 15 inch-pounds on these. I'm not going to get out the torque wrench and show you all of that. If you have a Wheeler fat wrench or some fix-it sticks, I highly recommend those. Right now, I'm just going to put a good amount of torque on this, but not too much. I'm not going to get too crazy with it. If you just are using the included tool like this, just turn it until that long arm doesn't want to turn anymore. See how that works? Boom, and we're done. I spilled a little blue thread locker here. 
wipe that off. We want this pretty much clean and degreased. There's no reason to oil this up or leave any kind of lubricant or anything that can spill on it at all. We want that clean and dry. There we go. Now, here is the mediator ready to go. This is already out because I used it to remove it from the included riser mount. I'm just going to align this crossbar with the slot. On it goes. It's going to click into place. There we go. Clicks in place like a Lego. Now I'm going to push this towards the muzzle. Just a little bit of wiggle room there on that cross bolt. I'm going to push it towards the muzzle. Take my T10 wrench, righty tighty, and we're going to clamp in place. Oops. And again, I'm not going to put crazy amounts of torque on this. Hard to do it on video and get the angle so you guys can actually see this. Just like that, right? Turn it until it doesn't want to go anymore. See how my hand's starting to shake a little bit? That's enough, right? That's plenty of torque. It's going to stay in place. This already has blue thread locker on it. I didn't show you putting blue thread locker on this because it's already there. And that's it, guys. We are installed. Um, make sure that your glass is good and clean. And we're ready to assemble the slide, put it on the frame, go to the range, and start the zeroing process. Thanks for being a Gideon Optics customer. Happy shooting out there.